So the United States, under President Bush, created the North Korean Envoy for Human Rights as a result of the North Korean Freedom Act passed by Congress. Uh, that individual is tasked with dealing with the problem of human rights and human rights abuses in North Korea. I think what the COI report leads us to think about in terms of U.S. policy is what more we can do beyond simply having a North Korean human envoy. Um, some people have called for more sanctions, targeted sanctions against individuals who might be implicated in some of these human rights abuses in the North Korean regime. Uh, others have called for the six party members. Those are the six countries involved in this multilateral negotiation with regard to North Korean nuclear weapons to all uh, uh, support the findings of the COI and make it an important part of any future multilateral negotiation with North Korea. Um, and then I think more broadly, the United States just has to make North Korean human rights a part of their broader agenda with North Korea. This has largely been focused most, mostly on nuclear weapons and missiles and the conventional threat, uh, but it's very important that we all understand that the United States can't really have a relationship with North Korea unless some of these basic human rights freedoms are also ensured to its people.